Well, we're here in Tennessee, and as always, Matt has got us lost, so we're on some sort of side tripping road here, and we ran into this interesting general store, and uh, take it away, Matt. You'd never find interesting places like this when you know where you're going. Tishomingo. Hope I'm not butchering, butchering that. Tishomingo State Park. We're gonna ride the Natchez Trace Parkway for a little while and do some, um, I don't know, exploring and uh, all that good stuff. Well, we made it to Evansville. No, wait a minute, we made it to Paducah. Okay, hey Go. Matt. Hey. We made it to Kentucky. Yeah. Evans. No, <laughs> Paducah. 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 Yeah. We're Paducah. Yes. And where did we just eat? IHOP. Was it yummy? Yeah, pretty yummy. Good service. Yes. I think it's probably one of the number one IHOPs around. Yeah, number one. <laughs> Best IHOP in the Midwest. Yeah. Hi, we just finished a 20 mile ride, which is big for me. It's huge. Uh, we're on the Natchez Trace Parkway. Now we're getting ready to take a short hike down to what's supposed to be a waterfall. So we'll see what it is. So far it's been straight uphill. So like Matt said, this better be something impressive to look at. We'll find out. We're here now. And where are we? Jackson Falls. But not to be confused with... The other Jackson Falls? Exactly. Okay. So riding the Natchez Trace is like going down a never-ending highway that has like nothing on it, you know? I mean, there's no towns. The only thing you're gonna find on the Natchez Trace is like these historical sites, parks, and stuff like that. So, you know, either it could be like really exciting or really boring, I guess, depending on <laughs> why you like to ride a bike. Riding the Natchez Trace can be a lot of fun. Uh, I think after a while it would get kind of dull. You just see the same thing over and over and over again. It is 400 miles long and it does go through several states, but it kind of so far, the parts we've seen, they all look a lot alike. Um, Hill-wise, lots and lots of hills, pretty gradual, no huge climbs, at least in the part we rode. Maybe the best part of riding the Natchez Trace Trail it's just that there's no traffic. There's no stop signs, there's no stop lights, there's no intersections. It's just super smooth. What few cars that were on the trail gave me tons of room as they passed. and welcome to our cabin at the Tishomingo Park. This is the nice sitting area where you can sit, charge up your e-bike. As you can see, we've got two beds, fireplace, a lamp. Come on this way. You come this way, there's a door. You open this door, it will take you to a picnic table. But if you come on in here, we have a nice sitting area. Chairs, a couch, another lamp. Um, the only one thing I could probably complain about is I'm not really big on taxidermy or whatever you want to call this. All right, well, this is the kitchen. 
Comes with a Mark Webb stove, fire extinguisher, refrigerator, pre made ice cubes. Wow. Yeah, wow. Okay. Coming this way. We've got a toilet and a sink. Oh, wait a minute, toilet's over here. We got a shower and we skipped the back back porch but it's got a nice uh, swing and we're back to the front again so I hope you enjoyed our scenic tour. We're down here at the park at Tishomingo and uh, we're just exploring and we noticed they have a wheelchair accessible swing which I think is really awesome because there's so many children out there who don't get to enjoy things at the park because of their handicap. So uh, I think that's really, really cool. First time I've ever seen it. Well, we travel the world looking for swinging bridges and it looks like we found a great one here. It's got a little bit of suspension to it. <laughs> Give me a hand, mister. A real one. So we've been walking the uh, outcroppings trail here at Tishomingo, and it's been a pretty decent trail. Uh, a little bit rocky, not too bad, and uh, lots of ups and downs. Had some scenic bluffs around the way. I'm kind of bummed out about the light, I guess. I've been kind of, it's just been cloudy a lot, and uh, nothing but this gray light, which there's a lot of good things about gray light. This is a trickling hole here, you see. And they put this in, as you can see the green stuff here. This is where the hills produce their mucus. <laughs> I don't know, whatever it is, it's really, really cool. I like it, it's pretty awesome. Uh, we had a lovely time here at the Tishomingo State Park in Mississippi. Uh, they are always in season. Thank you.